Hey everybody, it's Mr. Pedersen here, and today we're looking at 13-4, and we're starting off with our visual learning bridge to give us a little background information on this lesson. And today, we're going to be using fraction strips to compare two fractions that have the same numerator, and learn that when comparing two fractions with the same numerator, the fraction with the greater denominator is less than the other fraction. So let's give this a shot and see what they have to give us, uh, to help us out here. How can you compare fractions with the same numerator? Having the same numerator is a clue you can work with. Don't forget to look for clues. Clues lead you to answers. Two scarves are the same size. One scarf is five-sixths orange, and the other scarf is five-eighths orange. Which is less, five-sixths or five-eighths? Find out which fraction is less, five-sixths or five-eighths. What is important to know before you compare fractions? Okay, so they want to know which is less, five-sixths or five-eighths of the orange part of the scarf. And the important thing we need to know is that if... Both of these are the same whole length, which it looks like they are. You need to be sure that the size of the whole is the same. How can you find five-sixths and five-eighths of the scar? What you show. Use fraction strips to reason about the size of five-sixths compared to the size of five-eighths. Divide the scarf into eight equal parts to find five-eighths. Each part is one-eighth of the whole. Show five of the one-eighth strips. Then divide the scarf into six equal parts. Each part is one-sixth of the whole. Show five of the one-sixth strips. Which is less, five-sixths or five-eighths? Select your answer. So think about this for a second. Which is less... Five sixths or five eighths. Now notice that five eighths is smaller, even though the new the uh, excuse me the denominator is larger. So notice that five eighths is smaller, and five sixths is bigger when compared to our whole. So what do you think it is? Five eighths or five sixths? Five-eighths is less, right? Five-eighths is less than five-sixths. You can compare fractions that have the same numerator by reasoning about their size. What you write. Justify the comparison using symbols or words. Five-eighths is less than five-sixths. If the two fractions have the same numerator, the fraction with the greater denominator is less than the other fraction. Why is the fraction with the greater denominator less than the fraction with the smaller denominator? Because the greater denominator means the whole is divided into more parts. As the denominator gets bigger, each part gets smaller. Right. So we do now you know that. how to compare fractions with the same numerator. So the fraction with the bigger denominator is broken into smaller parts, while the fraction with the larger denominator, in this case 5, 6, is broken into bigger parts, right? So even though we have the same amount of units, our denominators help us figure out which strip is bigger. Let's move on to some different example problems that will help us learn this even further. Okay, so let's start and look at some review problems here. Review problem number one. Use the qu fraction strips to complete the statement. If two fractions have the same numerator, the fraction with the greater blank is blank than the other fraction. So let's see what we have here. We have one whole. We have three equal parts of one-eighth and three equal parts of one-fourth. So if two fractions have the same numerator, right, which in this case it's one or three equal parts, 
the fraction with the greater denominator is smaller than the other fraction, right? Because 8 is the greater denominator here, and it's smaller than 3 fourths. So 3 eighths is smaller than 3 fourths, and this gives us an example right here. Even though the denominator is bigger, that doesn't mean the fraction strip is always bigger. So that's giving us some background information there. Let's move on to another one that's similar to this. Review question number two. Two walls are the same size, so we see that they're the same size here. One wall is painted one half gray, and the other wall is painted one third gray. Which is greater, the wall with one third or the wall with one half? Or are they equal? So looking at our image here, what's greater? Here's our wall with one half, right? Because it's one equal part is shaded out of two. And here's our wall with one third, where one equal part out of three is shaded. So which is bigger? If you said the first one, one half, you'd be correct. Because obviously looking at it, one half has more shaded than one third. So that just proves that even though the denominator of 3 in this one is bigger, 1 half is still bigger. So let's type our answer here. 1 half is larger because it has one equal part that is larger than 1 third. Let's try another one. Compare the two fractions, 2 fourths and 2 thirds. Choose the correct response based on the fraction strips. So here's our fraction strips, and here's our answer choices. So we're comparing 2 fourths and 2 thirds, which are represented here. They want to know which is larger or are they equal. So let's first identify 2 fourths. Here's two equal parts of 4. Here's 2 fourths. And here's two equal parts of one-third. That's two-thirds. So which is larger, the yellow space or the orange space? If you were thinking the orange space, you'd be correct. So remember, it's two-thirds, the orange space. So our answer is B. Two-thirds is larger. Right? Do we understand that? Because this is two-fourths here, and this is two-thirds. Two-fourths is obviously smaller than two-thirds. Let's take a look at example question number four here. Julio bakes two brownie tray designs shown below. Each brownie tray is the same size. Julio says that the brownies in the top design is the same as the colored area in the bottom tray. Is he correct? Explain. So first thing we have to do is count the amount of units in each tray. So for the first one, we have one, two, three, four, five, six equal parts. And in the second tray, we have one, two, three, four, five equal parts. So even though they're the same length, they have different amounts of equal parts. So that means one of these is going to have smaller equal parts and one of them is going to have bigger equal parts. So we know that the answer so far is no. He is not correct. Now we need to explain our answer. So which brownie tray is bigger? And which one are you getting more brownies in? That's what I would want to know, right? Or which brownies are bigger? So we have six equal parts in the first one, five equal parts in the bottom one. So we have three out of six equal parts here. And we have three out of five equal parts here. So the ones in the bottom one would be bigger, right? Because one-fifth is going to be a bigger equal part than three-sixths. So we can say the brownies in the bottom tray... So three out of five equal parts of the top tray 
shows three out of six equal parts. The brownies in the bottom tray will be larger, right? I know I would want a brownie from the bottom tray, right? Because they're bigger than the ones in the top tray. So we have three-fifths is bigger than three-sixths. So even though the numerators are the same, the one with the bigger denominator is always going to be smaller. This is your activity that you're going to do today. It's the 13-4 introduction activity. Similar questions to what we just went over. On number th question number three here, you're going to use these fraction strips to help you solve this problem. And there's a couple more. This one's very similar to the one we just went over. And here, you're comparing the fractions. You type right or wrong if they show the correct comparison. Good luck, and refer back to this video if you need help.